Hey guys, welcome back to Builds by Maz. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to hide your TV wires behind your wall, giving your living room a sleek and finished appearance. Let's get started. The first step is to plan how you're going to run your wire. So I'm going to drill one hole behind the TV and another one down by the outlet. I bought this fiberglass wire running kit for about $15 on Amazon. I definitely recommend buying something like this, it's going to make your job a lot easier and you'll be able to keep it for any other future jobs where you need to run some cables behind a wall. It comes in a bunch of short segments that you can just screw together depending on the length you need. And there are also a few attachments that can go on the end, and in this case I'm going to use this little hook which just screws on and will help me secure my cables. I also purchased this Echo Gear cable management kit. It screws into the wall and basically just gives a cleaner way for your cables to be pulled in and out. The next step is to find any studs in the area. A good trick is to look for a power outlet as generally a stud is going to be bordering either the left or right side. So in my case I did have a stud here on the right side of the outlet and just wanted to confirm that there was nothing over on the left. Now for this application we do want to avoid the studs when we're drilling. So let's pretend that it was on the left side. A stud's going to be about an inch thick away from the outlet. Uh, so you want to avoid that area if you're drilling. Just move a little bit more to the left where it's just drywall. Pick that spot and that's where you're going to drill your hole. Now this drill attachment did come with my Echo Gear kit. So it's the perfect size to fit the insert. All you've got to do is line it up on the wall where you're going to want to make your cut. Again, making sure to avoid any studs. And then just drill into it and it'll cut a perfect hole. I then use one of my longer levels to line up where I'm going to be cutting my second hole, making sure it's low enough so that it's hidden behind my TV stand. From there it's the same process, just cutting into the drywall until you have got a little hole like this. Be sure to note that there is going to be a lot of dust coming out so it's helpful to have a dustbin or a vacuum handy. Now, unfortunately I did have a fire break in between my two holes, which you'll see is this little piece of wood right here. There's not really any way to avoid it. Whereas most studs are running vertically, this one's going horizontal. These are designed to help slow the spread of fires, and in this image they can be seen right here. These add a layer of difficulty when you're trying to run cables vertically. And my solution was to cut my hole in the drywall right above the fire break, and then using a Forzner bit, I cut a channel through the stud at a downward angle. And here you can see what it looked like once the channel was fully cut. Since this was in an outer wall of my house, I had to pull some insulation out of the lower hole to get a better view of things. Starting from the top, I fed the fiberglass wire kit hook side first through the channel I cut down behind the wall, pushing it down until I heard it hit the floor. Here's the view from the bottom hole. You can just see that fiberglass cable along the left edge. I pushed it down too far so I needed to pull it up a little bit so it'd be easier to retrieve. Using some needle nose pliers, I was pretty easily able to grab the hook and pull out the cable. Now is where you can attach whatever wires you want to run behind the wall, which in my case was a couple of HDMI cords. I stuck them through the hook and then used a good bit of duct tape to ensure that it wouldn't come loose behind the wall. Then all you've got to do is pull everything back up through the top. Once I had my wires situated, I replaced the insulation that I previously pulled out, and then it was time to install the cable management kit. The instructions are pretty self-explanatory, but you just need to run the wires through the middle, and then you can screw the base plate into the wall, which will secure it in place. Lastly, you can pop on the rubber cover, which hides the hole and gives your cables a clean, finished look. This whole process only takes a couple of minutes from start to finish. I needed to run some wires to my soundbar as well, but since I'm going to be moving the soundbar eventually, I didn't want to cut a permanent hole in the wall, so I opted to just use one of these wire protectors, and I painted it the same color as my wall, and used that for the short distance between the TV and the soundbar. And here's the finished look. This is a really simple project that can greatly help the overall aesthetic of your living room. Give it a try, and we'll see you next time.